What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Let's Talk Tennis podcast, the best podcast in my mind, of course. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm going to actually fix this light a little bit. Oh, that's perfect lighting. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to the fifth episode of the Let's Talk Tennis podcast. Again, like I said, best podcast in my mind. Today, we're going to be doing something not really different. We're going to be doing something. Actually, I don't even need to wear these headphones, so I'm not going to wear them. Today, we're going to be doing something not so different, but not so not different, if that makes sense. We're going to be doing something that I did originally. Uh, actually, the first episode of the Sox Tennis podcast where I talked about school. I talked about my college teachers. I talked about uh, my favorite teacher, my best, my favorite teachers, my worst teachers. I talked about that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to have a new segment. That is called Tendy Talks. Tendy Talks. Don't get it twisted. It is not TED Talks. It is Tendy Talks. There's a difference, I swear. Uh, basically what it is, it is just me yapping away for half an hour, 20 minutes, an hour, however long I feel like yapping. And I think a lot of that uh, contributes to maybe guests I have on the podcast. Maybe topics are brought up in my real life experiences. Maybe just ideas that pop in my mind that I think it'd be really fun to talk about. So if you guys are interested in this in the Let's Talk Tendies podcast and Tendy Talks, the Tendy Talks episodes, do me a favor. Do me an epic favor. Do me something that is really easy, really simple, and it'll take you less than a minute. I'll time you, I swear. Three, two, one, go. You did it? Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't even tell you yet? Oh, okay. Restart. Re, restart the timer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got the re- time. I got the timer restarted. I need you guys to scroll down, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, whatever you're watching on. Follow, subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube or Spotify, listening on Spotify, Amazon Music, or guess what? We're on iHeartRadio now. Consider, 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 consider. Do it. I'm not even telling you to consider. Consider doing it. Consider following. Do you guys know it's free? It is free to follow. A lot of you might not actually realize that. That following is free. If you have an account, wherever you're watching, follow. It's free. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. We're not the only thing that posts. I'm not the only one who... I'm not that... The, the Let's Talk Tennis podcast is the only thing that's relatively consistent on this channel. All right? All right? All right? All right? All right. So, episode... Technically two? I say technically two of the Tendy Talks, but the first one wasn't officially Tendy Talks. We'll call it episode two, but episode five, six, no, seven. Or on episode seven of the Let's Talk Tendy's podcast. Wow, seven episodes. And if you're not following, what's wrong with you? I'm just kidding. Nothing's wrong with you. You just haven't done it yet. Anyways, I need to get away from that. I have a list. I have a list. I have a list. I have a listy list. This is the same list where I have all my questions for everyone. This is the same list where I have all my video ideas. This is the same list where I, hell, I even took notes. Not even notes. Where I did math equations for my college class. Just because I felt like it. Not because I, I, I need to do it. Anyways, so my channel recently has been talking a lot about school. The podcast has been talking a lot about school. I'm going to dabble in that for a little bit longer. Pro guy, you got to understand. I am a college student. I am a college student. So a lot of things that I do is based around school. And I get a lot of experiences at school. And I think a lot of you, if you ever get fed up with that, just remember, I am still a college student. I am still learning. I'm even learning the ways of a podcast. It is a lot harder than a lot of you think. Uh, and that will be a future video on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, do so. Um, this one I want to talk about, though, is a little different. It is the different. Di- Why do I make words sound big? What is the difference between high school and college? Now, keep in mind, I am Canadian. So a high school experience for you. If you are an American, if you are living in Mexico, if you are in the UK, if you are anywhere else other than Canada, specifically Ontario, I don't know if it's any different anywhere else, is so much different than everywhere else. Again, 
feel free if you have any sort of comments to put on into this episode about your high school experience compared to like post graduation, post secondary experiences, college, university, whatever you want it to be, throw it down in the comments. Why not? I'll uh, on Spotify. I'll put in the question where it says, you know, what do you think of this episode? It'll be what was your have any experiences in college or any different and any experiences, any educational experiences. So we're gonna start out with. The difference, the differences between college and high school. Now, one big difference, and I think a lot of you may understand this. A lot, of, one big difference in college compared to high school, as when you are in college, you have the freedom, you have the ability to do things. You are paying for college, unless you are going to a private school, a private high school. You are not paying. You're not you're not paying for the education if you're in public school. Public high school, public elementary school, something. If you're in public school, you're not paying for that education. You're not. Government funded. You're not, not your problem. College, you're paying for that. So they give you a lot more freedom because they know you're the one who wants to be here. And you get to decide that. Now, one of the other big things about college versus high school is attendance. High school, they don't, they take a lot of attendance. Every class you take has attendance. The four classes that you take in high school throughout the day, each day has an attendance. And if you don't show up, your parents give you, they give your parents a call. Hey, little Johnny didn't show up to class. Oopsies. Well, now little Johnny's in trouble. Good job. You got little Johnny in trouble. Say sorry. In college, though, you don't show up. You just mix that. You, you miss the lecture. Now, a lot of teachers will bribe. I don't even want to say bribe. Look at that little. Still need a name for this guy. I haven't thought about it yet. Anyways, focus. In college, you don't show up to class. You you miss a lecture. Now, some of you might not seem like a big, big problem. Some teachers don't put the slides onto the thing. Onto the onto whatever online portal you're using, they don't. They sometimes just don't put the slides on there. Along with that, any test you may have, you will probably miss a conversation about it, as well as any assignments. Um, and teachers are less likely to help you if you don't show up. Now, I have a teacher in college who will send a email out to the dean. If you don't show up to a select amount of classes, I think that is not only outrageous. I can get to that later. I think it's also useless. Because if you say you're going to fail me, you're threatening me to come to class. Now, keep in mind, I, come, I go to class anyways. I got nothing better to do. Um, <laughs> I can't say I'm paying for the education. Why not, get the, why not try to get the most out of it? Um... And for the people who can't get to class, so now you're threatening them to come to class, keep in mind that teacher threatened that if I didn't show up or any of us didn't show up, he would fail us. And then gave us a 15-minute class the next week where we talked over two assignments, nobody had questions, and then he left. So, okay... Not that good. Not that good. Wasn't too happy with that. None of my classmates or I were too happy with that. Going back to high school, you have your select periods throughout the day, and they're consistent. You have your select, your 75 minutes. I don't know what it is in Canada or where I went to high school. It was 75. It was like an hour 15 block of that class. Uh, you didn't really get any breaks. Your break was your five-minute break to get to to unleash the trailer and haul ass to your next class. In college, some cl my classes are lucky enough to be three hours. I've seen classes that are six hours. I've seen classes that are five hours. I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. But uh, some classes are super long. Some classes are two hours. Not bad. Along with that, again, you get the freedom to show I am dying today. And along with that, you get the freedom to show up at your will. 
99% of the time, they don't really care. They just might not help you in the future. Um, but along with that, you are in college. You have, depending on the program you take, I am currently in advertising. Uh, depending on the program you take, you, I have had the most of two classes a day. I've seen people with four or five classes a day, and that's that's nuts. Um, but I'm lucky enough to get, on average, a class a day. Um, now, keep in mind, there are certain days, certain, this semester, currently right now, I have two classes on Monday with a four-hour gap. That's actually where I've recorded some of the podcast episodes. Actually, the next episode that's coming out, I'll spoil it a little now, Johnny Country, Country star, college student, content creator. We're going to be interviewing him next week. So look out for that. That would be really fun. Um, I'll talk more about that later, actually. But with it's 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 a college, you have a class a week. Maybe more. Maybe two classes a week on average. Um, or two classes a day on average, not a week. If you have two classes a week, you're what's the point of going to college? You're going to be there for six years. Um, but if you, you have two classes a day on average, maybe one a day, you are done for the rest of the day. You have, you can do schoolwork. You might have a job outside of that. You go to the job, but you are done with school with learning for that day. You just have to work on your not learn, not, not learning, post learning. Work, you work. You work on your 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 school work. Other than that, you're there. But in high school, you are in the four classes until after from September until January, and then from the end middle of January until June. College, most of the time, you are September to December, January to April. This is how it is. Fourteen weeks of each. College, um, kind of a scam, if you think about it. At least some things are kind of a scam, and I say this lightly. At Jordan, at specifically, I can say this from my experiences at college. Um, a lot of the time, the food there, there's a pizza pizza in the building, there's a Tim Hortons, there's a Subway. If you know anything about Canadian pricing, and if you know anything about anything food-related, Tim Hortons used to be the cheapest coffee place. You could get a coffee and a donut and a bagel for five bucks altogether, maybe six. Now, that's a, easily a $10, $12 meal. Um, Subway's never cheap. We all know that. Subway's not the cheapest place. It is pretty good, though. Uh, but one of the things that really surprised me was the prices of everything that the school owns. Owns. Now, of course, there's some branding along with it. The Pizza Pizza might not be just Pizza Pizza. It could also, you know, two years, it could be Domino's. Like, just whatever, whatever place owns the branding for that. But the pizza there, it's $6 a slice. Realistically, I could go to a different pizza. I could go to an actual pizza pizza down the road and spend four dollars, three dollars on a slice. Will I go? No. It's right there. It's convenience. Along with that, there's their in in store, in on campus restaurant. That's actually priced reasonably well. I'll give it that. That the the in store restaurant or the on campus bar grill restaurant thing. That's priced pretty well. That that's respectable. Maybe like a, a Kelsey's pricing, like a like with a chain chain restaurant, like a I need like I need like a an American example. What's like a chain restaurant in America? Olive Garden, like a like a Olive Garden. I don't know if that's super. I don't think that's super. Like an Applebee's kind of priced restaurant like everything's around kind of 10 to 15 20 dollars for a meal it's not not too bad not too bad uh but in high school at least in canadian high schools we didn't get 
food. We didn't get prepaid hot lunches in the cafeteria tray that you get that is sectioned off. No. My high school, there was the cafeteria and the cafeteria. The cafeteria sold food. The cafeteria had like the stage and the chairs and kind of the, the, the chill, chill, the chill space, I guess you could call it. One of the things that honestly kind of upset me a little bit at high school was the price of everything. Price to, 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 to portion. For what you were paying, you weren't getting a lot. Now, some things were decently priced. Some things maybe a little overpriced. But for the quality of food you were getting, and they really tried to stress the quality of the food. They wanted to stress that it is good quality. Some of it was. The pizza was not. You were paying for really, really, really bad food. Keep in mind, there were some hidden gems. Things like the French fries that they sold were pretty good. The things like the... I need this to stop, like... Not working. Oh, sorry if the audio went really bad. Things like the French fries were not that bad. They had mac and cheese every now and then. That wasn't that bad. There was actually, they had a pulled pork mac and cheese and the pulled, the pulled pork mac and cheese and the pulled pork was pretty good, which is saying something for a high school lunch. Um, so yeah, pulled pork was pretty good. There was little garlic fingers, like garlic bread fingers. They weren't the best. They were kind of stale out every now and then, but they were pretty good. The, the desserts were always really good. You can never disagree with the dessert. There's always cookies and brownies and, and um, ice. They had ice cream and like frozen yogurt. Really cool. Really good. And then you get to things like their pizza, which was just sauce, cheese on bread. The dough wasn't pizza dough. It was like bread dough. It was really weird. One more thing for high school. Since I've been talking for 20 minutes about high school versus college. The overall experience, the teachers, I think one of the big high school things that make the experience is the teachers. Fight me on that. I don't care what you say. Teachers, teachers. High school, it's Mrs. Smith, Mr. Adam, Mr. whatever. In college, you call them John, Sarah. You call them by their first names. It's not because it's not a respect thing, like the high school teachers have been trying to push for you. It's not because you're not respecting them. It's because to them, Mr. Blank, Mrs. Blank, it sounds weird to them. And it's just because they don't see it as a student teacher. They see it as like, I'm just in, I'm, I'm informing you. I'm your educator, but I'm not your teacher. I'm your professor. You don't say prof, professor, whatever. You just call them by their first names. Unless maybe you're in a university, that could be a little bit of a difference. At least that most of the time they don't want to be called their last name. Just because it's, for whatever reason. I don't. I also don't mind. I, I, I think it's more of a personal connection, but that's fine. And um, I was going to say one more thing. I... Do not, oh, assignment work. Uh, Depending on the teacher, you can basically get, if you have an assignment due in the halfway point, you can basically get a week extension just by, if you forget or you're busy, a lot of time, if you let them know a week in advance, hey, I can't have this done. I am overstressed with work. I'm basically bursting at the seams through other assignments. Can we push it back? A lot of times they'll say yes. Especially if it's one where you just handed it. One where you present, maybe not so much. But on the on the contrary, high school, the deadline's the deadline. You really can't move it. That's the way it works. That's the way you, you kind of have to deal with it. It sucks. You'll survive. College is so much better. So, yeah, there, that's my opinion. College is so much better than high school. Uh, there's also not as much drama 
in colleges or in is high school a lot of a lot of people are grown up and they're just here to learn they don't want to deal with the extra stress of oh drama and fights and blah 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 a lot of them are just look i'm here to learn i want to be an adult i'm an adult let me be an adult so that is enough of like 15 20 minutes of me yapping about school for those who are bleeding from the ears congratulations you're bleeding from the ears moving on i am going to talk about i'm burning through my ideas already i'm going to talk about something that has bothered me for a while bothered me ever since i earned the ability to has bothered me since i stepped within the world of what i'm about to talk about how hard is it to drive basically i'm talking about bad drivers here it is baffling the amount of bad drivers I have seen on the road. It hurts my head every time I see a bad driver on the road. One story I can give. I was driving home from work. Uh, maybe school. I take the same way to work as I take to school. They're basically, I turn right instead of left. One out of street. Anyways. So, I was driving home from something. And we... Me, I was driving behind the, I was driving beside this Audi. I think it was beside or is in front of. Anyways, the Audi comes up and it like cuts me off. I'm sitting there. I'm like, there's nobody else on this road. You could have moved yourself up. We we're, were way before he had to turn, by the way. You could have moved yourself up or you could have stayed behind me. I'm sitting there, I'm like, why is it so hard for people to drive? Better yet, not a lot of that might be like, oh, that's not that bad. Keep in mind, I was tired. I wanted to go home. I was furious. Better yet, really memorable time for me. I was coming back from my girlfriend's house. This was on my day before my birthday. My girlfriend, love her. She's awesome. She bought my me and her jay's tickets my parents were going to come down with us and my brother we're going to go down to toronto to watch the jays it was against it was june 25th we're against the a's where they won 12 to 1 happy birthday to me thank you hon thank you darling um so we're driving home for to my house so my parents can take us and we're going down the street and it's a street it's a two lane two lane street with like streets off to the side that are in the second like you, you turn you, you you turn like in the lane like there's no dedicated turn that's what I'm looking. there's no dedicated turn lane so i'm in the right lane there's a car beside me i'll, I'll do the right which way would we be facing i'm in the right lane car beside me in the left lane car ahead of the guy in the left lane and the left lane guy the first car in the ahead of us is going to turn i'm like okay so i kind of like am there and this other car speeds up kind of speeds up and tries to go around him except he cuts me off this way he cuts me off and i have to turn my car i almost crashed the car by the way and I lay on the horn, and this guy goes, and here's here's the car that's, he goes, whoop, and he just takes off. I almost crashed my car. It's actually not, my, it's my mom's car. I almost crashed my mom's car because of this guy who not only was in a rush, who also didn't check his blind spot, didn't check his mirrors, and just decided, mm, I guess so, whipped it around the car, almost crashed into me. I was like, bro what is this what is this home slice doing turns out my girlfriend was like we both were like what i almost didn't hit the horn because i was so confused but if i did he would have ran me off the road uh into a light pole um and it would have sucked but 
I don't know. I think it is it really that hard to drive for some people. At my driving experience, I have my G2. I've been driving for just over a year. It's not hard. <laughs> you just got to look. Is it really hard to turn your head? Look in your mirror. Turn your head again. Look that way. Look in your back mirror. Look at this way. Turn your head again. Uh, is it really that hard? It doesn't seem that hard. I mean, for me, it's not hard. I can do it. Why can't anyone else do it? Anyway, long story short, we got there. We went to the Jays game. Jays game won. I completely forgot about it until we got back. Another time I was driving with my girlfriend. We were somewhere. We were somewhere. I don't know where we were going or where we were coming back from. I don't even remember the entire story. I remember just almost not hitting the horn. I think kind of the same thing happened, except the guy actually cut me off. Like, real close. And I just, I was sitting there. And he does it. I'm like, what? My girlfriend's like, oh, whoa, whoa. And started freaking out. And I just went, eh. Like, after he already did it. Is it really that hard to drive? I need to know. Um, as well as the driving story, uh, is as well as school stories. Is there anything that like you guys had trouble drive, like driving problem? Is there a time where you remember people being stupid on the road? I, 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 I need to know. Well, first off, BMW drivers, <laughs> Jonah, um, real bad drivers, real ba- Audi drivers too, real bad drivers. There are so many people who are just bad drivers on the road. Um. When it's not hard to be a good driver, it's really not a hard task to be a good driver. I don't even know if has any of you guys had that problem where you've been driving and people are just stupid. My favorite um, one, maybe one more story. We were, I was coming home from work. This was over the summer where I worked camps. And I was with my buddy who also worked with me. Uh, and we're at a we're at a light, but we're kind of farther back in the light. And the street had it was red light s- section of street, uh another street that was going across, and then more street and then more light, whatever. But that middle street. My friend, I was driving my friend home. We lived like up the road from each other. So I'm in the left lane. That's not the turn lane. Just It's a two lane street again. So I'm in the left lane. I'm kind of just sitting there and I'm not blocking the street. And I try not to block those streets because if people need to get somewhere, I don't want to be the one being in the way. Not a, not a bad reason, right? It's honestly, I also think it's kind of illegal. Um... 50 on that one though um but we were sitting there and we're kind of just talking and there's maybe you know, the street and you know the other cars kind of stop beside me too so there's the opening for the street and the car a car behind us just starts honking and i look at my friend and i go i wonder what that's about <laughs> i sit there i'm like well, i wonder what that's about and I'm I'm kind of like, and they're still honking, and it sounds close, but it wasn't too, the windows were rolled up, it was a hot summer day, so we're kind of enjoying the air conditioning. The car behind me, all right, here's something outside, whips around me, lays on the horn, goes down that side street, the one that's like, we're parked at, or we're stopped at, turns around as she's turning, and just starts screaming at us through her window, keep in mind. And starts flipping us off. And me and my friend look at it. Look at the car driving away. We look at each other. We look back there. We look back at each other. And we just start laughing. We're like, what is so... Like, you can't wait three seconds. Keep in mind, it was it was really... It was... <laughs> we're laughing about it. We I think we still kind of laugh about it to this day. Um, yeah, it was it was like... Whoa, why are you mad at us for doing literally, literally nothing wrong? Along with that, uh, I'm trying to think of other times the cars have honked at me. Usually when I don't turn right away at an intersection because um, 
ju- judging where a car is from is actually pretty hard. Like, if it, is it, you know, 100 feet away, a couple hundred feet away? If it's pretty close and it's night, um, the headlights, you might think, are closer than they are. I always say, play it safe. If it... If it take if you can see them and they're tiny, okay. But if they're like you know, it looks like they're kind of close. Don't risk it. There's no point. Uh, wait till the car passes, then go. Uh, usually, actually, if there's a car behind them, you can kind of gauge how far they are based off of that car because they can you can see the the light reflection off the car. Um, this is none of this is professional driving advice. I'm just saying, play it safe. Always play it safe. But yeah, I've had people honk at me because I wasn't turning quick enough. I'm like, brethren, this car is three seconds ahead of, like, it is, like, basically here by the time you touch the horn. I don't know. It's really funny. And then people just get mad at you, and you're kind of just like, okay. Or my favorite is uh, when people just start weaving back and forth the middle of this road. I, I, I never like sitting in people's blind spot. I never like being side by side with the car if I have to. I'm either in front. Or or behind. And that is in two different lanes. I'm either in front of the car in my lane or behind the car that's in the other like in I I'm either in front of the car in the other lane or behind the car in the other lane. I don't like being side by side if I have to. Mostly because I don't trust other people swerving. Especially if I see a car swerving. If I see it, I'm either staying pretty far back, or if I'm lucky enough and I'm at a stop sign or or like a red light, I'm going to try to Go past that car and make sure that it is not. Because I don't know if that is somebody on their phone. I don't know if that's somebody who may have in you know enjoying a couple beverages. I don't want to be a part of a statistic. I don't want to be involved in an accident because somebody was stupid. <coughs> oh, not my fault. Not my problem. Um. Hmm. I think that's along with that. None of this is driving advice. It's just story time. <coughs> oh. Chat. I'm dying, boys. Oh, that is weird. I am so sorry for those who were listening. Have no idea what just happened. I don't even know. Um, other than that, nothing much I can think of. So I think I'm gonna end it here. <coughs> oh my god, I am dying. I'm going to talk for too long. Um, yeah, so we talked college versus high school. We talked about bad drivers. I'm going to try not to do these episodes as much. It's very hard to do them without someone else coming back to you. However, <coughs> oh, my God. I am dying. However, I am looking to do... And ask me anything. An AMA. Uh, so if you are interested, tweet at me. At Tendy71. Ask me your questions. Go on to my latest Instagram post. Ask me questions. Ask me questions. <coughs> that might be fine. I am also might put out a story. Prior to my next recording of the podcast, where I say, ask me anything. And then you have the free chance to ask me anything. From there, ask me anything. (laughs) So I'm looking for ask me anything. I think I'm also going to start doing maybe some tier lists. I think that would be kind of fun. As well, I think if we, if I did rankings, I guess that's tier list. uh, Some Reddit stories would be pretty cool. Getting your opinion on that. And, yeah, I'm hoping to maybe get some more people on. I'm currently looking at getting um, some other people on. Uh, looking at currently getting my other teacher on, uh, who was also in that first episode. Uh, Johnny Country will be on next week. Uh, I'm also trying to get Nicker Games on, my girlfriend on, uh, MVP Shadow Wolf, I gotta ask. Party cow, I gotta ask. And I also want to see if I can get a couple of the content creators on here. I think it'd be pretty fun. So if you, again, have not subscribed, consider doing so. I'm gonna go before I die. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, follow, 
check out all my links in the description. Check out that card thing. I spent way too much time on it. It is really fun. Other than that, thank you. I am so sorry for ending this early, and I'm sorry if I ruined your ears. Follow, like, rate it five stars. See you guys in the next one. Peace.